Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Black mm -hmm. Sabbath don't get you to go in the morning, nothing's gonna. That'll get you up and moving, all right. Simple as that. Uh, our buddy Drew Kosev today is checking out a, a crazy train going down the tracks with no one in control. No, he's checking out Prairie Dog Central Railway. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, you guys. Not going off the rails on a crazy train like Black Sabbath. We're having a fun family adventure with the Prairie Dog Central Railway. Yeah, and, and yeah. you promised Drew not only a chance to show us uh, what it takes to get a steam locomotive up and running, but how they would make breakfast. This is really interesting stuff. I mean, when you're moving on a train in the olden days, you had to be practical and use what you had. So this shovel that is used for uh, making coal also would have been used for frying your bacon or eggs. You would uh, throw the bacon or eggs on there, and then you would jam it inside of the boiler. Go take a look at that thing because that stuff is very, very hot. So you'd Whoa. put your uh, your coffee in there, your tea in there, your eggs in there for uh, about 30 seconds and it would be done to perfection. And it would have that great uh, coal taste as well. Mm. Yum, yum, you know yum. what? Hey, we pay extra for that. If we want our pizza cooked in a coal-fired oven, we would pay extra that for that. That is true, but, uh, yeah. Good God. In the olden days of riding the rails, that was just one of the perks of the job. And to tell us a little bit more about what it was like in those olden days, I want to introduce you to Jeff Livingston. Now, Jeff, you are the, the fireman on uh, the Prairie Dog Central Railway. What exactly does that mean? Uh, basically, a fireman uh, uh, monitors the boiler, so you're monitoring the amount of uh, coal that goes in to heat the steam. Basically, what happens is um, when you heat the water, when water turns to steam and expands 1,600 times, Whoa. and that's where we get our power from. It uh, goes into the front to the steam chest, and that's that's how the train is driven. So your main responsibility is to make sure that there's enough water, enough fire, so that everything gets moving. Can I uh, try pumping in uh, some of the coal here? Yeah, go for it. All right, I'm going to give you the microphone. Let me know if I'm doing this right. So okay. I'm just going to sneak behind you, Chris. Hang on. So we've got a pile of coal here. Look at this stuff. Oh, where do you guys even find this? Uh, it comes from Iowa. Boy, you're a natural. What are you doing next weekend? Uh, I could be here and ready to go next weekend because I know there's always different fun themes going on for the Prairie Dog Central. So, Jeff, thanks for telling me a little bit about what the fireman does. Now we are going to find out what an engineer does on the train and tell us about that. We have Brian Harmer. So it looks like you got a lot of like gears and dials and levers. Uh, can you explain how it is that you drive this machine? Okay, if we wanted to go forward, we'd move the reverser forward, release the brake, pull the throttle out, away we'd go. Well, that seems pretty simple. So, as far as steering goes, I mean, I guess you're on tracks, so you don't really need to worry about uh, where you're going, but, like, what sorts of things would an engineer have had to worry about when they're when they're cruising around? Anything that they look out for? Yeah, you have to watch out for people. you got to watch out for cars. You have to blow the whistle at the crossings, uh, keep an eye on the lubricator, make sure that it's lubricating the air pump and the two uh, pistons, and, uh, yeah, just keep your speed. Oh, that, sounds, that sounds pretty good. How does uh, one go about blowing the whistle? Give that chain a good pull. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> that is loud. Holy smokes. Now, how long, the train that we're in right now, this is a, this is a pretty old uh, old guy. How old is this thing? 18, 1882 it was built. 1882, so that's like 130 years old? Uh, yeah, 131, I think, yeah. I'm guessing it takes a lot of work from you guys to keep this thing on the tracks and keep it going then. Yeah, we've got a fantastic maintenance crew looking after it, a lot of maintenance on it, yeah. And every, you said it takes three hours to get this thing fired up and going, to get the steam engine going. So what sorts of things have to happen before this thing can start moving? Uh, you got to get the, the fire going, obviously, you get the uh, steam up, get the air pressure up, uh, get lubrication done. It's all manual lubrication on the outside. That's what the fireman does. He gets it uh, greased up, oiled up, and ready to go. Wow, so a lot of work being done so that we can enjoy a fun train ride through the prairies. If you want more information about the ride, just go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, so you can check out all the different times that you and your family can go take a cruise on the Prairie Dog Central. We're taking a quick break here on Breakfast Television, but still plenty more to show you this morning on City.